Okay, the next one on in painting is selecting and filling within painting. Now we need to load our our image again, the in painting landscape JPG. So there we go. Input from the cloud. In painting landscape, that's that one there. Now the first area that we're going to want to look at is over here on the left hand side. That's those leaves. So we need to draw a freehand um, a selection around that. Now you'll notice it's not in the tool list on the left hand side, so you have to go selections right at the top there. Selections. Change persona in other words. There's our freehand there, freehand selection tool. Now, as carefully as I can, draw a selection around this and up to there. Joined up. So we've got everything selected. Now here's the tricky bit. In the book it says to go to select edit and then in paint. But we can't do that with this one because we've got to fill that with an in-painting colour. So on the right-hand side, select the filter. Now it's one of those filters, A, B, C, 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 D, E. We need the fill filter, which is just above that grey square. I don't want to touch it because it will select it. So we want to fill that one. And you can see it's filled with a, with a clear... The cloud's gone white, in other words. Now, what mode do we want? We don't want colour. We don't want primary. What we want is in-painting. Now, why has it gone black? because it was working, you see. So the in-painting was right. We've now got cloud in that shape and we can apply it with the apply button just to the right there. The fill goes in and there's our clouds. Now we're still selected up here for the view tool so I can reduce the size a little bit. And on the right hand side, we want to go to the Tools panel and sec select the Rectangular Mark tool from the same flyout as the Freehand selection. There's the Mark tool just below the Freehand. Rectangular selection. And you can see you've got a few. We want a Column Mark 2. Column Mark E2. So let's go... Is that too much? That's way too much, isn't it? Rectangular tool. Let's try that one. We just want to take out those branches there. Now we go to the same thing. Go to filter. It should be still on fill. Select fill. It still should be on in painting. You can see down the bottom. And... You can see in the image, those leaves are gone. So we'll apply that. So the overhanging tree is now gone. And there's other areas you can experiment with. Somewhere in that image, there's a bird. Is there really? Okay, well, let's enlarge the image. And see if we can spot the bird. Oh, look, up the top there, there's some more leaves. There's the bird there. Now we can go back to the normal, if you like, that persona there, which is the photo persona. We've got the clone brush tool and the in-painting tool. We don't need to get fancy with filters, we can just... We might need to get fancy with the filters. Oh, and I've just noticed I've missed the top of that one. Okay, back to selections. Freehand.
back to filters, fill, in painting, that little leaf that's at the top, we can apply that. And the free hand. We can do the bird. Let's give it the bird. In painting is still selected down the bottom. Apply that. And the bird is gone. Let's go back to photo mode. Back to that mode there. And have a look at layers, still the same layer. Now you'll have that little, the crawling ants thing there until you do something else. Now I don't want to save it, but you can see that the leaves are gone, the bird's gone, and generally the photo's cleaned up. It's a good example now, that bird floating around up there is not a main major problem in a happy snap, but if you're trying to clean up a photograph for commercial use, you have to get rid of indistinct objects like that. And there's probably quite a bit of work you could do in that image to clean it up yet. But that's all we want to do for this exercise. Now the last little bit I forgot to mention, you'll notice that the image itself is back where we started from. But when I finished, I had a bird in the middle here somewhere there it is and some leaves at the top that I'd taken out now normally the way you were just working we had the freehand selection and I just went around that then I went to filters on the right hand side all filters you can refine that a little bit and just go to colors and a b c d e we want the fill filter, which is just there. Puts a blank spot in the middle of it for a moment. It's working busily away there. Tap color, and we want in painting. There we go. So it selects in painting, and it does the in painting, and that's all very nice, and everything's clear. Now we go back to the top, the selection, and you've still got that thing in the middle. Go back to there, to your photo, Oops, there it is. There it is there. You know why that is? Because we didn't apply it. Okay, now if you go back, the bird's gone, but the spinning circle is still there. So we're back to the selections persona, and you want to get rid of that spiral, then you have to go and deselect it up there. And you can see that's the top button, right? Click on that, deselect. And the spinning crawling ants are gone. That makes it possible to go back to the other persona, the photo persona. Click on the erase brush tool. No, we don't want that one. We want the clone brush tool because hiding in there is the in painting brush. And we can just do that with the leaves at the top. Job done. Current layer, source, width, hardness, more. Too nice. Selections. Photo persona. Leaves are gone. That's all there is to that. It's up there. Duplicate selection. Duplicate pasteboard. No, we're in the wrong persona. That's only available in the selections persona. If you've got an area of crawling ants or something selected, you can deselect it. In fact, you can reselect it. But that's where it's hiding. Very tricky. Okay, we'll finish this. We don't want that anymore.